much. And before we proceed, and I'm going to talk about the Beethoven just slightly, or actually a bit, okay, whatever. Um, just want to thank uh, Garden City Orchestra, everybody in the Garden City Orchestra personally. You are the rock of Gibraltar in my life. I come on Thursday nights, no matter how bad my week has gone or how good my week has gone, the Garden City Orchestra plays. It just plays with all their heart, and it is a wonderful, wonderful orchestra to work with. And I want to thank particularly, given the, we have grown so much in the past nine years. It's just unbelievable. I don't know who out there has followed us, but nine years ago, we were a ragtag little ensemble playing at Elmwood Primary School, and now look at us. It's just amazing. So I really want to thank the board of the Garden City Orchestra, and especially our illustrious president and former president, um, Angela and Rowan, have been really taking charge and really doing a fantastic job. So let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> and Sarah McCracken, who um, has really, she came and gave us a coaching workshop with the strings. Who gave us the wind once? I don't remember. Gina, yeah. And they came and coached us from the Christchurch Symphony Orchestra and just blew our heads open with the possibilities of music for us. And Sarah has just been gracious enough in her busy life. She's playing with us. Oh, I'm so nervous. So thank you, Sarah. Really appreciate it. Give her a round of applause. Um, just to remind you about, about the survey, please take it. I really would love it. It really will help. I need data. I need data. Or data. What do we say here? Data. I need data. So take it. Be completely and utterly honest and tell me what you think about the way I have talked to you about this and what your feelings are about classical music. Um, Beethoven composed this first symphony when he was a very, very young man, but you can already hear a lot of what he was going to do in his later symphonies, in the Fifth Symphony, famous um, Ode to Joy, Ninth Symphony, um, and his concertos, what he was going to do later in life. Um, he was famous, and this is this is what I'm coming back to. We talked about nationalism, about British military bands and the folk songs and the Debussy, the, the pure joy of the language and the gorgeous impressions. The Germanic way of, in general, is to take an idea and develop it. And um, this is what he does. Uh, he takes one little idea in the music and then he just splits it apart, dissects it, bounces it around, and, and, and puts it out there in a whole new way. And from that, we, the listener, get a sense of strength and power and joy from that. So I wanted to just show you that musical idea that happens in the first movement and the fourth movement. So, orchestra, can you please put the leg of the first music? Um, oh, oh, oh. Ready? One, two. Beethoven lives. Da, 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 just like da, 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 da. <laughs> just like that. So what I would like to ask you to do is, could you clap that rhythm for me? Da, 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 So when I, when I point to you, your side, I want you to go da, 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 and then I, when I point to you and do that, and do that, so don't do it until I point to you. And let's just see Jam. 
that's what he does. And then in the fourth movement, he takes another idea. He takes a lot of ideas, not just these ones, but I just wanted to point these out. The fourth movement, da 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 dee da 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 no, fourth movement. Intro. Pick, pick, pick up to eight. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about the development. No, we don't have to do it. Let's just do it. Yeah, fourth movement, eighth measure. Pick up to eighth measure. We're going to just 
sit quietly, cue it up, cue it up, cue it up. Just get into it. Thank you. 